going down that tunnel, and you'll end up at the Area 52 cargo train loading depot. Fastest way to Area 52 will be to hitch a ride on one of those cargo trains.
Gesicht! Ich kann nicht zielen! that nuke right up in their filthy Nazi nerve center. The Oberkommando is situated at ground level directly above the cavernous vault with all that alien shit inside. You gotta haul your ass on up there, baby.
So, you want the Nazis to leave the warhead alone once you planted it, right? Well, what you gotta do is place it in the Oberkommando's nuclear reactor. That way, the Nazis won't be able to track its radiation signature. They won't find it, they won't disarm it.
Sabotage. Sickness on the community and a bad influence, dirty and thieves, and beggars and bums, and they don't know how to read or write, and that they're stinky and stupid and lazy and way too lazy to work an honest job. Well, my daddy did, but my mama say white folks is mean as all get out, and hating and resenting on account they used to keep all colored to slaves, and now they're not allowed no more, and that's why I can't use a good restroom at the and the man in the store won't let me in so I can buy chewing gum or soda pop. Well, what kind of chewing gum you like? Engine Scouts. Red or yellow? Yellow. I hate the red ones. The red ones taste like puke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what you got in that jar, Billy? Oh, it's nothing at all. It's for catching tadpoles. What you gonna do with tadpoles in that jar? Just go watch them swim. I feed them crumbs and carrots from the yard. Then they become pinky frogs. Well, I've seen tadpoles down the stream. Follow me and I'll show you. Oh, uh, okay. Come on. Ah. Remember you 
showed me the ring, Mama. For when I met someone special. Well, I did. And then a look right. The rat fell in my pocket, now he can't get out. Look at that. <laughs> he's drowned. Probably. Well, save him, Billy. He's drowning. It's just a rat. He's gross. He's eating our food and spreading germs, pooping in our cupboards. Well, he's dying. He's dying, Billy. <laughs> He's dead! Ah! Billy, look! Billy! Come back! You didn't do did it, Billy. You saved his life. Oh, guy. secret okay promise not to tell anyone yeah okay I'll whisper it somewhere, Billy, inclined to this day to endure amongst the living. Mama! Daddy! What's the goddamn ruckus? What the hell is wrong with you? You let them take your property, they're gonna walk all over you till there's nothing left. Now, I gave you that pocket knife. It was in your care. It's your responsibility. I will speak to their parents. You will do no such thing, Sophia. Oh, you gonna let your mommy fight your battles for you, are you, boy? Now, you go on out there and take back what's yours, and you are not setting foot in this house again until you do.
I'll be in the grave rotting away, and still a better daddy than you. Son, I have tried reasoning with you. I've tried smacking sense into you till the cows come home and nothing is working. Every night you wake me up with these noises. No matter how many times I try to tell you there are no monsters in our basement. I'm sorry, Daddy. At night, I see them. Clear as daylight. They're coming to kill Mama. All right, here's what we're gonna do. You take this. Wow. Now you and I are going down into the basement and any monsters that show up, we shoot them dead right between their eyes. Sometimes the best way to fix a problem is to face it head on. You with me? Yes, Daddy. Sophia, you in on this? You see them? No, Daddy. The monsters are gone. Well, I reckon if you do no wrong, ain't no monster gonna come after you, son. You think we scared them off for good this time? May I keep the gun? The place is gone to shit. I ain't been down here in nary a decade. I own a 2,000 acre ranch up by Forney Lake now. I heard on the radio you'd been sighted up near Roswell. I figured you might show up here. I'm in this house with bad memories. So why'd you come? Need a place to hide? You need money? Well, you're barking up the wrong tree, son. Far too late to come begging now. Ain't nothing you can offer to make up for what you've done to us. I think of my father, I see a fuck you and a fist flying in my face. When'd you ever do right by me? Disobedient? Ungrateful? Sense like a flat tire? and a mouth like a sewer. Oh, I saw where you was headed. I've been down that hole myself. 
and I guarantee God damn to you I did all in my might to pull you out what more do you want from me I wanted you to treat me like I mattered like I wasn't some piece of dog shit got stuck on your shoe I did my damnedest with you the truth is, you were broke beyond fixing. What, are you some sort of super killer terror bomber now? You're on the wrong side, buddy. All them years, I was banging my head into the wall, coming to see that everyone was against me. And when the Nazis took over, things got a lot better. You play by their rules, you can do very well for yourself. Ask anyone around these parts, Blaskowitz is a name of renown and respect. Everything you touch turns to shit, and I do not need your stink on my name. Wanted murderer. Run off to the army as soon as you come of age broke your mother's heart. Where is she? She's gone. When? What happened? And what happened is we had a big goddamn war and now we got a new government with new rules. They took her. She's gone. And what's that queer outfit you're wearing? What do you mean they took her? They rounded up all the Jews and the coloreds and the queers. This is a white man's world now. White man's gotta keep it Christian. You sold her out. So what? Wife made a living bemoaning me and raised a boy into a murderer. Well, I always saw you for what you are. Ten pounds of shit in a five-pound bag. On your knees. Daddy, I'm your son. Down on your fucking knees! Was a time I was scared of you. Was a time I'd have pissed myself, had a gun pointed at my head. You know what I feel right now? Not a goddamn thing. Who'd you call? I heard everything. Who in the hell'd you call?
His mouth. Not my problem, it's Cezanne. Oh, Christ. Will you just give us some privacy, please? Oh, you look like ass, man. Fuck. Looks like you're at death's door. Seriously, this is not a good look for you. Anyway, listen, uh, your trial's coming up in a couple of weeks, and after that, they're gonna execute you, and that whole charade's gonna be televised to every living room on the planet. So instead of that bullshit going down, we're gonna break you the fuck out of here right now. It's kind of a risky plan, but the security they have around you is out of this world, so it's kind of the only play we got, all right? I mean, the hoops I had to jump through to get to you, and I'm your fucking lawyer! That pissed me off. But, hey, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make like you attacked me, and when the guard pig comes in looking for your ass, I'm gonna sneak up behind him and I'm gonna shove this little number right into the base of his skull. I'm gonna grab his keys and his gun, and I'm gonna roll you right on out to the elevator. <laughs> Popping Nazis wherever they show up, straight down the garage where boom, body and Anya and everyone else has the getaway car. Okay, you ready? Let's get this freak show on the road. <laughs> God. Fuck! That hurts so bad. You don't even know. Let's get this fucking gag thing off you. All right. Once we hit the street, it's all car chases and flying bullets. They got tanks outside, man. We got some tricks up our sleeve, though. If we make it that far. We make it. The hard part is getting down to the garage. Hey! Help! Help! Open the door! He fucking attacked me, man! He broke my nose, and then he got out through that door right there! Look at Terror Billy! He's on the loose! Stay back. And, and, he, and he had help. Uh, they, they came in right through that door, and they broke him out. It was space aliens, man! <laughs> <laughs> Schnitt! <laughs> Gott! <laughs> Zimmermann! <laughs> Sie haben Talent! 
Wir sollten zum Film gehen, bei Helene vorsprechen. Guter Schuss, General. Der zuckt noch. <lacht> Idiot. He was dead as soon as he walked into the building. Tapfra, kleiner Liebling, ich bin dein und du bist mein Liebling, so lieblich und open your mouth. down there now and join in on the fun. Anya, my family. Weeks pass, or more. Feel myself slipping away. Got me praying for the end. For theft and destruction of public and private property. Aiding the enemy. Torture. Terrorism, including nuclear, both domestic and abroad. And high treason. For gruesome murders that number in the thousands, you have been found guilty, Mr. William Joseph Blaskowitz. It is rare, even for a man of my job description, to come face to face with true evil. And it pains me that the maximum sentence that I can bestow upon you is something as trivial as death. Death, Mr. Blaskowitz, nothing but swift, sheer death. <laughs> Bailiff.
Mom. Oh, my son. I thought I lost you, Mom. I thought I'd never see you again. Oh, Billy. Life is full of unexpected things. Some make you cheerful. And some break your heart. I wasn't there when you needed me. I ran out on you. It hurts so much, Billy. It felt like my heart was being ripped out of my chest when you left. But all hardship is temporary. Do you know this? And most of it is inevitable. I had to stay behind so that you could leave. And now you're the one in trouble. Do not worry for me. My troubles are over, my son. I don't want to go back out there. But I can't do this anymore. You are strong, Billy. We are survivors, you and I. We keep fighting even when we do not know how. You cannot help but be my son. I'm having twins, Mama. They're not born yet. I want to see them. I wanted you to see them. I miss you. We will be together soon. You just have one more hardship to go. We have less than seven seconds. Okay, ready, steady, Max Bombate! Grab it! I'm not, no! Hurry! We have three seconds! We need to give his brain oxygenated blood or it will die! I'm 
afraid it's too late. Oh, no. No. What? Brain activity! Yes! Survive! Oh. Oh. Fucking genius, oh. Seth. Did I ever tell you that? Seth. He's on! Your glass is right. You should get out of here. The man ready for transport? Er ist tot. Scheiße. Das bin ich. Look. Look. He's awake. Hey, look at that jammer bastard. The only person on the planet hard enough to survive getting his head chopped off. Mr. Blazkowicz, can you hear me? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so listen to this. <clears throat> Some time ago, Caroline obtained this latest generation biologically engineered super soldier body from a Nazi scientific lab. Very, very impressive specimen. Angela, please show this to him. Look, William, Seth is going to attach this to build a connection between your head and your new body. Angela! Kindle, please, I'm a Nazi family. Please come and help me here. Now, these are very rare Nazi company <laughs> equipment from super soldiers. Our fight is found in the field. None of them is working, but I have enough material to fix one contraption. You should decide which one you want. You can choose. Blink once for this one, blink twice for the one in the middle, blink three times for that over there. Okay, Ingela, let's get to work. I will sedate you now. See you soon. I'm got and you got and you got and you got and you. Got and you. How are you feeling, Mr. Blaskovich? Can you move your body? Yes, you can. Show us. Show us. I feel powerful. Do you remember your name? Do, do you remember your doings in the last two years? Aside from killing Nazis. <laughs> if you die one more time, William, I will murder you. Come, I'll give you some clothes. Send them to me when you're done. Uh, no, have you seen Ketzelbe? Where's to get in? Where's to get in? Shim Shim. I get the Shim. How I look? Like a new man, Yingle. A new man. Oh, I look at you. I'm so happy you're back. Now, this, same thing Shoshana has. This, no, 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 no. This connects your head to your body. Very, very important not to fill with this. Now, you might feel some weird tingling sensation, not to worry, it's normal. But let me know if anything else happens. For example, your head trying to reject your new body, something like this.
Now, I, I have prepared the contraption you wanted. Put it on. Let's see what you can do with it. So, Shimshin, your new body is very, very powerful. How powerful? Well, the ram shackles will lock your upper body joints in place so they will never break even when subjected to enormous forces. What does it mean? Well, for example, you can smash right through this wall. Yes, Yingli, you can break right through this wall. Just, just run into it as fast as you can. Come on, believe in your power. <laughs> I'd love to pinch your cheeks and ruffle your hair, but if we drop this thing, oh, it'll explode and sink the whole fucking boat. Would you mind coming over here and lending a hand? Nexus! <laughs> Nexus! Oh, God, here comes the idiot. Stay back, Max. This thing is very dangerous. Oh, boy, like this. Oh, we're fucked now. They're killing us all. Have you had a chance to speak to Grace? I think she needs your assistance. It's right good to see her up and about again, Captain. has a job for me. Put this new body to good use.
kid. Blaskowitz, you are one tough motherfucker, you know that? What's all this? All this special shit from Roswell. He brought everything back from Mission Control and dumped it here. <laughs> Never had time to unpack it. He was a good man. I saw it go down. There was nothing I could do. What did he say? What? What were his last words? I need to know. He said, it was space aliens, man. <laughs> Motherfucker. He said, Oh, Ingo, how is everything functioning? Hi, Grace. This one of yours? What's this? Well, where did you get this? Especially had it back in Roswell. Said he found it at the crash site in 47. It looks like no, it can't be it. It's true. But it Oh! Got in you! Say. Got in you. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Grace. It's happening, Grace. It's a full-on assault. Have them run the engines as hot as they can. Full fucking throttle, sister. Yes, ma'am. I'll tell them. We're on a course for the New Orleans ghetto. Come on in, Blasco. Let's have a seat. Now, that ghetto is home to one of the last remaining resistance groups in America, led by a man named Horton. Now, after the war, the Nazis put up all these walls around the city. And then, they gathered up all the undesirables, and they dumped them there. So that Horton and his comrades and all these people are just stuck there, languishing in the worst conditions imaginable. And then, after the event of late, the Nazis, they just dialed up the pressure. Death squads storming the cities, killing everyone in sight. God damn it, they're gonna purge that whole city till there's no one left. We gotta do something. Right on. So now this new body of yours, is it ready for some Nazi killing? More ready than ever. Feel unstoppable. Like Shh. It's a fucking freight train. You are a fucking freight train. Now before we arrive in New Orleans, we need to make a quick detour into Manhattan. So you'll want to read the mission brief, activate the war map out there, and pull up the info screen for the Manhattan district. Got it. On Blaskowitz, one good thing did come out of all of this mess. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> Your execution is all over the news. <laughs> Nazis think you're dead, baby. They ain't never gonna see you coming. Radiation level is high down there. 